I use these targets to zero my Garand with M2 ball. I use them for everything though because there's not a significant difference. I get close enough to be on target or in the black with just about every load I use. It don't matter if I use the 155s, the 168s. Haven't tried it with the 110s. But this is a 50 yard target. I'm a center mass. I'm a center mass aimer, so I, I aim right there. So I'll aim there and I'll adjust my sights until I impact there at 50 yards. And then I'll adjust my sights up until I impact this general area here for 200 yards. I don't shoot more than 200 yards with the Garand, so it's not important to go any further for this target. And it's pretty special. It's pretty close. I mean, if I adjust the the rear aperture elevation knob to the markings, if I calibrate the drum, it comes pretty damn... I'm in that area every time. So it works pretty good, and the drum works pretty good. I don't bother really calibrating my drums because I can't see the marks to make it worth it. So I just try to remember everything or... Write it on a piece of paper and stick it in the butt trap. I actually I actually hang luggage tags off my swing swivels with the zero information and ammo I use in any particular rifle works well for me. But like I said, the numbers are very difficult to see. Let's see if I can't get it to focus on here. All right, let's see if I can keep it focused. Now, this rifle happens to be zero, is eight clicks up. All right, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That's my zero for this rifle for 100 yards, give or take a minute. Now, if you want to calibrate the drum, this one actually is falling on what a thousand yards okay so i know i have to come eight clicks up so bring your sight all the way down you loosen this screw you loosen this screw just loosen it all the way all right now without moving the rear aperture sight without letting this move up or down should be all the way down you want to bring your dial bring the dial all the way around okay and that's the 100 yard mark right there okay so what you want to do is you want to go eight clicks forward one two three four five six seven eight you want to tighten the screw and cross thread it try and do this all one-handed here Tighten the screw. Now it should one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. It should be right on the mark. Okay. Now, if you come up two clicks, one, two, you'll be on the two hundred. One, two, three, you're on the 300. One, two, three, four, 400. One, two, three, four, 500. One, two, three, four, 600. So all the come ups are right there. And my sight's now set.
It doesn't line up exactly, but it's close. One, two. Then what you do after you get it all set where you want it, run it all the way up. Tighten that screw. Don't be afraid of it. Give it a good snug because you don't want it to come loose on you while you're at a match because that's when it comes loose. Come up eight, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Should be on a hundred yard tip. There it is. One, two. Now that just gets you close enough. Um, Everybody is different. I mean, 10 clicks up on one rifle might be too high or too low for someone else shooting your rifle. Because then um, basically it just positions your eye behind the sight, not so much mechanically on the gun. So windage is the same thing. I, I use this target for windage and I like to adjust my front sight um, to the, I, I mean, I don't care how far over it goes. I like having a zero setting back here versus being way left or right. I'm fortunate enough, most of my rifles are pretty centered both front. This one's off to the right just a little bit. But I'm fortunate enough that most of my front sights zero with very little movement. And I get zero, no wind, windage pretty close to the center on the rear and the front. But it all changes once you change ammo, you change light. But it's rough enough and good enough. I hope it helps.